and now we are doing feature selection using uh, information gain approach uh, information gain is also known as mutual information it is basically a measure of dependency between the variables higher values means higher dependency on target variable and feature selection on the basis of information gain is basically a filter method in which we filter out all the uh, all the feature which have low value of information gain so for this we are actually we are uh, using module of uh, sklearn mutual info classification and here we are calculating mutual info here it is uh, giving us the values of information gain of all the features so uh, after that we are pr plotting each value along with the name of the feature in ascending orders means from big to small so here uh, we have the largest information gain value is uh, belongs to s and after that r so mean these uh, vari these features are highly dependent on our target variable which is detection so now after that we are plotting all the features on the basis of the information gain values so here we can see s is uh, highly dependable on target variable highly impactful on target variable after that r so all these features are highly uh, impactful on our target variable so what we have to do is we will select 26 features out highly impactful features out of this and for that reason we are using select k best library of sklearn through this we can calculate we can select to our 26 top 26 performing features on the basis of information gain values so here we are selecting 26 columns mean features using select k best and here we are giving the value of 26 because we want to select 26 feature if you want to select like 10 features then give the value of 10 here so here uh, after selecting 26 feature we are assigning those feature values to variable train x 26 uh, because these these type of variables are actually we are familiar with them because earlier at 30 feature we were using train x and for uh, 26 feature we are using train x underscore 26 because it is easy and understandable so uh, here uh, after uh, we are also transforming test x to test x 26 and it also have 26 features now so after doing feature selection we are checking the shape and we can see that 26 features are selected and now our train x26 and test x26 have 26 features and now we are we will perform 